Hey guys, it's Tim. Uh, what a day as uh, we're kicking off the first session in our fine art, fine art film sessions. And uh, the camera you're looking at here is uh, what's called a gallon flex. It's amazing and uh, it's a four by five, shoots four by five sheet film. And uh, I, uh, I know that there were 600 of these made by a man by the name of Peter Gallon. And some of the early ones, according to his website, were sold to people like uh, Annie Leibowitz, uh, Josef Karsh, a great portrait photographer out of Canada, uh, Kodak, the FBI, and, and on and on. There's just a long list. And don't forget the Waldens. Uh, we got one too. And you know, we, we thought while, while time allowed, we really don't know um, how long we're going to have uh, this type of film. I've got four by five sheet film in, in this holder right here. And I uh, went in and loaded it up in the dark room. It's like bringing back uh, memories. I mean, it was just amazing. Uh, it, it, you know how people talk about being able to feel something. And if you ever just could feel photography, it's when you're doing things like this. And, and being a true artist at heart, always loving this industry and what it's provided, we wanted to have uh, fine art film sessions available while we can. Uh, it may be a long, long time and it may be not very long at all. We really don't know how long this can be done, but for a while we want to get back and actually get uh, some film sessions done. So I'm getting ready to do the first and we wanted to do a little video. I called Peter Gallon and uh, uh, about this camera. I wanted to tell you, I called him uh, four or five years ago. And I really just bought this as a piece of history. I just can't believe that I'm actually you know, got it right here, ready to go. It's exciting. But I called him, uh, he, he died a, a few years ago from the time we're filming this and, and uh, I did photographs up to 93. He was a fashion photographer in California, one of the, the best, who really set a lot of the standards. And he said, Tim, I made 600 of these. I sold 595 of them and I kept five for myself. He said, but I'm an old man now. He said, what am I going to do with them? So if you want to uh, buy one, I'll sell you one. And so I'm one of the few people that bought a camera made in the 60s, brand new uh, in the, you know, in 2000 and, and whatever it was. So, uh, so here we go. It's going to be a film session, uh, not something we can do with little kids running. And, you know, and these are just very structured art pieces. And I'm excited. I am like over the top excited and uh, can't wait to, to get this first one under our belt and just get the ball rolling. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get this camera ready. So unlike any camera today that we use, I've gotta set the exposure right here on the front. There's no such thing as P or A or elemental P. It's just you set your camera. So I'm gonna go 60th at F8 um, because I'm gonna open up a little bit. Film is, is different to shoot than, than digital, the way you expose it. So. Uh, but that's not what we're here to film about. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna actually take the first sheet of film and in the back back here, I'm gonna drop this in. Now, it's gotta be all the way down in and seated inside of this uh, back because all this is light tight. So I wanna make sure that my lens is closed because you can actually open these lenses. And I wanna make sure it's closed. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the dark slide, just like so. We're going to pull this out. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now that film is ready to be exposed in the back. I got the dark slide pulled out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an exposure here of my model and uh, I am going to then slide the slide back in and we're going to switch it around for the next shot. It's a much slower process. We're going to shoot one sheet of film at a time. All right, so let's take a look at what we're doing here. That's, the pose is good. I love the, I love your, you know, let that hand come down, that hand's fine. The other hand, just let it hang to your side. Let it hang down. Yeah, face, thank you. I'm gonna have to finish my sentence. Now, everything I'm seeing appears upside down and I remember that uh, how hard that was in the beginning to shoot everything seeing it upside down. But I gotta tell you, my dad was right in the fact that he would say you'll get better at composition. Oh, that's perfect. You'll get better at composition 
when everything is upside down. Okay, let me get my focus. That's it. What I want you to do is gently tip your head. That's it. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Make sure all of my settings are correct. That's it. Chin up. Perfect. Eyes right here. Beautiful. There we go. Turn your face just a little bit more. And I'll pull the slide. Reload. That was one chop. <laughs> We're going to do one more. All right, here. So I'm going to dark slide in here. Turn your face just a little bit more toward me. That's it. Let me get my focus. Perfect. Eyes right into the camera. Right here, actually. Right now. Fantastic.